Lumbira Pathfinder Squad. This is Lumbira Pathfinder Squad. A squad consisting of 15 children from the ages of 9 to 16 years old. A squad that has created history and continues to dominate drill performances in the Malawi Adventist Church. This is Lumbira Adventist Church, where the Pathfinder Squad hails from. The church is situated in Blanta, Chiromoni, an area near Michiru Mountains. We would like to show you just how these children rehearse, execute their drills, what motivates them, how long they have been doing these drills, their challenges, and how much their lives have changed since they became members of the Lumbira Pathfinder Squad. Pathfinder is the Department of Adventist Youth popularly known as the AY. This department is found in all Adventist churches across the world. The kids, which are usually from the age 9 to 16, are taught different activities at this department. They read, they conduct outreach programs, learn how to work with ropes, camp cookery, camp survival, first aid, and even the word of God. Actually, Pathfinder is a big organization. Yeah. It actually goes broad from all sizes, all ages of Yes. People. So I think it's actually the word Pathfinder. Yeah. It's very, very touching and yeah. it's very, very influential to yeah. everyone. Yeah. Um, actually, what happens is it's it's full of activities. Yes. On us, uh, those activities can also be done with adults. Yeah. Elderly. Yeah. They can also be done with the juniors. Uh, and um, there are lots and lots of stuff that yeah. people can learn in the profile club. Okay. So that's why maybe somebody thirty years mm -hmm. above mm -hmm. can be willing to join the profile club, mm. being the mother of the yeah. organization. Being members of this Pathfinder squad has helped the kids become useful and important members of the community. These kids go to the villages to help the elderly and even clean the dirty marketplaces in Chilomoni. After cleaning, they perform their best drills to the audience and sometimes they also go to Queen Elizabeth Hospital to see the sick people. Wow. Mm, we learn about cooking. Cooking? About how we can manage our problems yeah. in our daily life. Like, oh, your problems? Yes, uh -huh. outreach. Like other friends who are not able to do the spiritual life uh -huh. and physical life. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we learn about the first aid and the second aid. I see a great change in my kid. He just doesn't pray around. When he comes home from school, he goes straight to church to gather with his friends. They learn a lot of things at their gatherings. He has learned how to read and also respect elders. Among some of the activities that take place at the AY department, the squad and those members of the Pathfinder squad also 
take time to train and perfect their drills. Those who train and perfect their drills are allowed to perform in public church functions. These church functions are applauded and are attended by a lot of people who are not even members of the Church of Seventh-day Adventists at Lumbira. The reason behind teaching these kids to match and become members of a squad is to train them to become disciplined human beings who have self-control and are very hardworking at everything that they do. Section you love the most. You love the drill, the cooking part, the classes, the, the singing, the, the choir. Which one is your favorite? My favorite is drill. The squad. Yes. Why? Because why do you love drill so much? Okay. Because it it helps me how to control my heart. Self-control, oh, yeah. Self-control. Yes. So drill helps you guys learn how to control yourselves. Yes. Um, so I have seen uh, some uh, different types of your routines. Yeah. So what do you have? We, uh, have, we have sequential. Which one is sequential? We do. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen that. Uh -huh. and Another and one. We have sock shirt. Sock shirt. Yeah. We have Since the squad was launched some years back at Lumbila. The squad became popular in the spring of 2014 and 2015. Their leader, Titus Gondwa, who was then just 18 years old, decided to take the drills to another level. The kids began to train for longer hours and Titus did everything to motivate these youngsters. Soon enough, their drills became exceptional. They were exciting, captivating, and very touching to watch. The kids soon started to perform to different audiences other than just the church members. In, the, in 2015, I remember, I used to blouse. And, and I found these drills from yeah. the Lion. Uh -huh. um, we have Pasadena. Yes. Those are the squads that actually inspired me yes. to start these drills. Like, 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 like. Wow. So these Pasadenas and the drills, are they from are they from African countries? They are actually from Mongolia. So um, this is the ground which is used by the uh, the club. And they pathfinder clubs for their rehearsals so when they come here to train this is the ground that they usually use i don't know how many acres this is if it's, if it's, if it's, if it's, if it's even an acre but this is the ground that they use for their practices and when they have a trip they uh, come here almost daily and train on this ground for two solid hours later in 2014, the kids were invited to visit South Africa for the very first time. The news about the invitation to go to South Africa was received with mixed reactions from the parents of the kids, the kids themselves, and the church community. The reason for the mixed reactions was well, due to the fact that the kids were supposed to raise a huge sum of money amounting to 4 million Malawi kwacha, which was to cater for their food, transportation, and even accommodation there in South Africa. Considering the family background of these kids, they and their parents with the church could not afford to raise this amount but when the church elders and well-wishers came together they managed to raise 
this amount of money. The trip has met with a lot of difficulties due to the number of kids, but church leadership, parents, and well wishers have worked hard to make this trip possible. It was not sponsorship alone that helped these kids to raise this amount of money. The kids themselves were involved in different activities that helped them to raise funds so that they could have enough money for their passports, for the trip itself, and even accommodation right there in South Africa. I love their leader, Titus Gondwa, because he encourages these young ones to have other alternatives for making money through piecework, like working in fields and homes. The squad has the aim of spreading the gospel and inspiring the young stars to work for Christ. Their first trip to South Africa was a talk of the church members. The parents and leaders did not believe that the kids could raise this money. But through faith and prayer and hard work, it became possible. The success of this trip, which happened on the 4th of April 2015, excited the parents and even the kids themselves. We are on the journey to South Africa, Deben. We will stay there for a week. I am one of the female leaders who has been chosen by the church to go with these kids to Deben and stay with them. I am very happy that this trip has been finally successful and I praise God. They were to stay in South Africa for a week and they performed some of their best drills whilst clouds of people and members of AY were watching them.
was just a bottom there. Do you see the bottom that I'm doing the juice stuff? Yes. And it was <laughs> wonderful. Yeah. Run, run, run! The applauds and words of encouragement motivated these kids to even do more. Since the kids came back from South Africa, they have been traveling across the country, performing at the stadium and even in different districts, exciting people and preaching the gospel to the people. The creeds have grown so much since okay. their trip so, um, to South Africa. After South Africa, what else have you done as a club? Have you gone to much in other areas as well? Yes. Like where? Uh, in Mambochi. You've gone to Mambochi? Um, there's Cholo. Cholo, wow. Yeah, so, so many places. Yeah, so many places. Wow. So, what would you say to your friends who want to be part of um, this club? Who are just staying at home, they don't belong to the Pathfinder club. What can you say to them? Uh, they are missing many things. They are missing many things. And they should come here and worship with you guys. Yes. Okay. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. I'm fine. Tell us about yourself. Um, I'm Yoni Hadisai. Yes. 17 years old. You're 17 years old. Yeah. Does that mean that you are no longer a Pathfinder club member? Mm -hmm. So, what do we do about that? Uh, that's fine because I really like uh, being a, a member of Pathfinder. Which means you still come mm -hmm. to Pathfinder, yes. even though it's uh, uh, from 9 to 16. Yeah. What is so fun about Pathfinder club that you have to keep coming and coming back? Uh, I really like the environment. Yes. And uh, I come kind of yeah. But being a member of the squad and its leader has its own challenges. Challenges. Yes. Uh, for example, sometimes you know, as a group, hey. we do have misunderstandings sometimes. Okay. And uh, arguments. Uh, yeah, like that. So you do argue with uh, each other? Yeah, a lot. A lot. I still have and you still have to go. Yeah. <laughs> and you go back. Okay. So how do you overcome this? Uh, arguments and challenges and misunderstandings. Okay, like what other people do, right? Mm -hmm. They do fight and whatsoever, but we don't do it like that. Yeah. We come together mm -hmm. and we sit down mm -hmm. and discuss the issue. Mm -hmm. Well, mm, there are many problems that we need to Yes. Sometimes uh, mm -hmm. the the trip to South Africa, uh -huh. we had so many problems like the fee for the passport and the, the fees uh -huh. and the, for the transport Accom accommodation yes. uh -huh. and then things the other, other our parents were uh -huh. also saying that we should not go to South Africa People way. didn't have faith! Yes But you, did you know that you are going to go to South Africa? Uh, did you have faith? Yes, I had faith but uh -huh. Not that faith because mm -hmm. my parents would tell me that I won't go. So yes. So then I just feel like sad. Like yeah. I just want to carry them. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Everything nowadays is about money. Yes. So Correct. there are other activities, yeah. major activities that require a lot and a lot of money. Yes. So at a certain angle, being, yeah. a, being a comrade, I'm supposed yeah. to suffice or I'm yeah. supposed to be there for my children. Yeah. But I just can't. Yeah. It's just too much for my. It is good to note that the team has managed to overcome most of these challenges. They intend to continue spreading the gospel through their drill performances, outreach programs, preaching the gospel and working for their fellow youth. 
actually, um, if you put God first, yes. everything is possible. Wow. And I think everyone can do that. Yes. 